share a few tips for cleaning your sensor. Now, a quick disclaimer, it really isn't that scary to touch your sensor, but you should make sure that you follow carefully the directions of whatever cleaning kit you purchase, and of course, consult your camera manual. Those of you who have been following along know that I recently came back from a fantastic photo trip in Iceland. Along with the Sony a7R, we seem to have brought back an amazing amount of dust and dirt that has collected on the sensor. Now, I can't remember the last time that I've cleaned one of my DSLR sensors. Occasionally, I give them a little puff of air, but usually I just use the little control inside the camera that automatically cleans for me. Or, in the case of my 5D Mark III, I broke it about a year ago, actually about six months ago, and they always do a nice cleaning when you send it in. So that's a bonus of breaking a camera is you get the sensor clean. But it was clear that I had some dirt spots, so I did a little test. And here's what the first step in cleaning your sensor is to figure out just how dirty it is. An easy thing to do is to take a picture of a white piece of paper at your higher apertures. It's like F8, F14, F20, somewhere in that range you're really going to start to see any dust that's on your sensor. Now, you don't have to worry about your shutter speed when you're taking a picture like that, but you do want to keep your ISO down low. So give yourself enough light or drop your shutter speed enough because it actually doesn't matter if it's a really slow shutter speed. The dust is on the camera, moving with the camera, so it will stay sharp even at slower shutter speeds. If you're a landscape photographer, you might start to notice this in your shots. If you're a portrait photographer and you're often shooting at those wider apertures, F2, F4, you're not going to see dust until there is a big hunk of dirt sitting on your sensor and that's pretty rare that that happens. So you've taken your test shot and you may be able to see some of the spots show up but if you throw it into Lightroom in the develop module under the spot removal tool is a visualize spots checkbox. Check that and it does an amazing kind of little inverse that really helps you see just how dirty your sensor is. Now with that knowledge you can decide how you're going to tackle this. The first thing you should do is try to use the camera, if your camera has one, its internal cleaning system. There's a couple of different ways that that will work, usually some kind of little negative static charge or some little vibration. Some cameras run them every single time you turn them on or off, and some allow you to choose when you run them. The Sony's got one that allows you to choose when you run it, and it vibrates, kind of violently, the sensor for a few seconds. I can tell you that for me, it did absolutely nothing. I saw no difference in the amount of dust on the sensor before and after I ran that test. So the next version or the next way to tackle that is with something like the rocket blower. And this is a very simple, very cheap, easy tool to have that I think everybody should have one in their bag, not only for getting dust off the sensor, but also just kind of for keeping your camera clean in general. Now, you want to hold your camera face down and you want to make sure that you never touch the end of this little plastic bit because sometimes that little nozzle hole can be a little sharp directly to the sensor. You're just getting close to the sensor. And I also found that if you come in at a nice angle, it should blow the stuff off the sensor better than trying to blow directly on it. And I was really happy with the results after using just the rocket blower and probably most of the time I'd be fine stopping there. But for the purpose of this video and for my own kind of curiosity, how clean could I get the sensor? How much work would it be? What are these kits like? Because it really has been quite a while since I've actually cleaned a sensor. I can't remember the last time I've touched it with one of these kind of little wand jobbies. Most of the time, as I've said, my DSLR sensors, they seem to stay pretty clean. I think the mirror blocks some of the stuff. So first step was in camera. Uh, system didn't work. Second was rocket blower which worked pretty darn good. And then third is something like the dust aid kit which I picked up right here. I'm going to link uh, to a blog post with all of this information right down below. This works really good. If you feel like you're going to be cleaning your sensor often though you might want to invest in something like the Arctic butterfly brush which is a static charged brush. It's expensive at $130 roughly but it doesn't need anything extra. All of these kits you can eventually run out and then you have to purchase more of the little cloths. Now in this case I got 50 of these cloths here. I think this will hold me over for quite some time but according to their directions you may want to use more than one per cleaning so your mileage again may vary. Dust Aid also sells a platinum dust aid kit and that consists of basically a little 
lollipop looking thing that is very gently sticky or tacky at the end of it. And you kind of gently stamp that on your sensor. I haven't tried that. I know a lot of people really like it. It also is somewhat reusable, but requires another step for then cleaning the little tacky lollipop. Uh, and you have to buy new ones of those from time to time. Basically look at it as the more you spend, the easier and the more renewable your cleaning system. The less you spend, the more work you have to do, and the more often you'll be buying replacement pads or wipes or liquid. Another thing that can be really helpful is a little magnifying loop. And again, a link will be to all of this down below. Uh, that has a little light and a little magnifying. You know, we looked at that visualize spots uh, graphic and there was a ton of dirt on the sensor. There was very little I could actually see. I just have this little LED bike light that's nice and bright and it allows me to see in there. And I bet this is doing really well as I'm talking over top of my open sensor right now. Uh, so I will clean it here in just a second. I do see some new spots on there. Let's clean the sensor with this kit. The dust wand kit in particular comes with a bunch of little wands different sizes for different size sensors. Smaller for the smaller sensors, larger for the larger sensor. Inside here is a pack of little dust cloths. I have them double wrapped. And you should of course do this someplace fairly clean. Your hand should be fairly clean. You take one of the little bits of napkin off. Let me look at the directions again. And you basically set it here in the napkin Let's do it right here so you can see. You fold it over. You fold it over again. And then you wrap it around. You basically wrapping around and you take one of these little clips and you clip it right on there. Once you have that on there, you're ready to put some of the Dust Aid Ultra Clean. I, I imagine it's some sort of uh, alcohol. And five drops on each side or the number of drops corresponding to the size of your sensor. Again, Dust One 1.0 is for full frame sensors and I believe somewhere it told me five drops. It does evaporate very quick because it is alcohol based. So you wanna apply it shortly after you uh, you want to clean the sensor shortly after you apply the drops to the wand. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And this is where a headlamp would also be nice because I'd like to have two hands free, but I'm just going to hold. And you're supposed to start in the lower left corner, but I've got this at an odd angle for the camera. So I'm just going to start wherever I want. And I'm just going to move that across the sensor. And I'm going to flip it over and repeat on the other side and drag it across the sensor. And when you're happy that it's clean, you should turn it back over and get your lens back on. Full frame, sorry, mirrorless sensors are actually quite easy because they're right there in your face. If you're working with something like a DSLR, you need to put it into manual cleaning mode, which is then going to flip the sensor up, sorry, the mirror up out of the way for you, clean manually. Now, once the mirror is out of the way, you do the same exact process, but you can see how much further down deep inside is the sensor in a DSLR. It's something that I think helps to keep it a little bit cleaner than when you're working with something like the Sony mirrorless, which has a sensor that is right there. So very close to the lens mount and any dust coming in, it's gonna to get to it. So that is my thoughts and tips on cleaning systems. I had also picked up, just for comparison's sake, this one from, this is Photo Soul, the Digital Survival Kit. I haven't tried this, it looks exactly the same, except instead of little plastic clips to secure to your wands, they give you little rubber bands, and the first set comes already pre-ready to go, so you don't have to fold them over. It really is about the same. Uh, this one also provides this nifty little cloth package, which that's kind of nice uh, to keep all of that, but it otherwise feels and looks exactly the same, comes with a few less wipes. Again, I'll put a blog post link down below with all of this stuff lifts it out. 
If you plan on buying, using my links is an easy way to support me. And if you found this video helpful, take a quick moment, thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Or you can also follow me on Instagram to see what I'm up to day to day and see if I post any more pictures of dirty sensors. Do you have a favorite cleaning method or system that you use? Maybe you like to put yours in the dishwasher. You can leave a comment right down below with your favorite method or questions or thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.